everybody. Welcome to The Wild Dog Wife. I'm Jessica. And today's video is going to be a home gym tour. Now, before I turn you around and show you everything, I want to, number one, give you a disclaimer, and number two, answer some of the questions that you guys have already been asking me over on social media when you've seen the gym. So first, the disclaimer is that while this gym is amazing, and it is absolutely amazing, and we love it, it is not necessary for a health and fitness journey. For over a year when I first started, I only worked out with body weight or a set of dumbbells. That's it. That is where the majority of my progress on my fitness journey came from. The reason that we decided to invest in a home gym is because the nearest gym is over 40 miles away. And we did that for a little while this summer, but it was miserable, like driving back and forth, paying for the cost of gas, the wear and tear on the vehicle, the gym membership costs. Like it just, it just became too much. And we decided that we would be better off to take that money and invest it in something that was ours, that we owned, and that was super convenient and that we could use whenever we wanted. And so that was kind of what we did. We saved up towards it and it was our Christmas gift, our big Christmas gift to ourselves, essentially. Now, to answer a lot of the questions, this gym is in a shed. It is a 12 by 24 foot shed. It came unfinished. It had plywood floors, plywood walls, and metal studs every 24 inches. Uh, what we did was we put down mat flooring that's like the puzzle flooring that connects together, which I will link all of the things that I can in the description box for you guys. And then we put up insulated boards on the walls and the ceiling. Now we sprung for the more expensive boards on the actual walls, which are gray. And then the boards on the ceilings are the cheaper, just white ones. Um, all of the trim was just cheap, like one by two pieces of wood literally the cheapest we could find and we painted it black. So that was pretty much the entire inside. And the only other thing that we did other than the insulated walls and trim and floor was we did a reflective tent on the windows so that it would keep some of the heat out. So it keeps, you know, the sun from blinding us and it tries to keep the heat out. It is Florida. It gets super hot. Um, so we wanted to do everything we could to keep it as cool as possible in here, especially in the summer. Uh, if you have any other questions that I didn't answer, leave them down below and I will try to answer them. Now, let's go ahead and get started with this tour. Here is a little bit of an overview so you can kind of see the whole thing. So on the back of the door, because we knew that was one place we obviously wouldn't put any equipment, we added mirrors. These are just regular cheap back of the wall or door mirrors from Walmart. They were less than $15. We just made sure that they didn't have frames and butted them up against each other so that it was as big of a mirror as possible uh, without being expensive because we wanted something cost effective. We have an industrial fan as well as a portable AC unit. Again, it's Florida, it gets hot. Those things help immensely. Um, the portable, the portable AC unit only runs if it gets over 78 and the, uh, fan is more than enough if it's less than that or cooler than that to keep it cool in here. We have two dumbbell racks because it was more efficient space wise to put one on each side of the door. So over here we have 10 to 40 pound kettlebells and then two and a half to 25 pound dumbbells. And on this side, we have some of our smaller plates. So like our two and a half, five and 10 pound plates, our Bluetooth speaker, a medicine ball, and 30 through 50 pound dumbbells. Over here, I have like my own little table and I keep a spare pair of shoes because sometimes the yard is flooded and we come over barefoot, it's easier. A uh, battle rope and a box that keeps some of my personal stuff. Kevin has the same on his side. This is a squat rack. We added on the pull-up bar because the pull-up bar that came with it, you can't actually use it. You would hit your head since it's only an eight foot ceiling. Um, and then the tricep bars, those are turned out currently. We have a flat bench because that is our preference uh, for like barbell bench press kind of thing. There are some plates back here. We happen to be able to put a barbell holder on the back of the squat rack. So it holds our barbell. 
These are the coolest things ever. They are Mad Spotters. Kevin got them for Christmas. You can put a dumbbell on them and then you can do your bench press like that. Um, instead of trying to load the dumbbell up like to lay down. Anyway, you would have to see it. It's amazing. Uh, let's see, back there is another bar holder up against the wall and that's a Tibialis raise thing. Uh, we have hooks under the windows to hold towels or jackets or whatever else we might bring. This is a hip thrust machine. I absolutely hate loading a hip thrust with a barbell on my hips. So that was my one must have. Back there on the ground, we have two weighted balls with handles. Kevin and I both really like using them for ab work. 12 pound and the 20 pound, I'll tell you that one is mine and one is his. I'll let you guess. You're probably right though on whatever you think. This is a leg press machine. It is a compact leg press. It was literally the smallest one I could find that had the, the least amount of space and was still a functioning leg press. Um, this piece can kind of go up and down a little bit depending on your legs. That was Kevin's pick on the sign. I think that came from Etsy. Over here on the floor, we have a sled. We use that outside. This is a leg curl and extension. So there is a pin right there that you pull. And so you do either extensions with it or curls underneath and you just change it by changing that pin. We have two um, plyo boxes or steps. This is a 12 inch, this is an 18 inch. The 12 inch I use for step ups. The 18 inch Kevin uses for step ups. Sometimes we use it for a box squat as well. The 12 inch I can use inside the shed. Um, the 12 or the 18 inch Kevin has to use outside the door because he is too tall and would hit his head. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you're doing a shed gym. This is a preacher curl. You sit here, put your arms there and curl with a four foot straight bar as well as the easy curl bar right there. And that's just on the wall with another one of those uh, barbell holders. We bought like four of them and we just screwed them kind of everywhere we needed them. And then over here, we have our cable machine. This is probably the one thing I wish we had purchased sooner. I absolutely love it. It is hands down my favorite machine to use. Um, there are places here to hold plates. There are two adjustable cables that go up and down. There is a cable here at the top, a cable there at the bottom. This is an adjustable bench that didn't come with it. We just kind of added that so that gets moved around the room. Uh, it also has pull-up bars. You could use neutral or uh, wide grip. But again, we can't actually use these because I might be able to use them, but Kevin can't and I can't do a pull-up yet. But you would actually pull into the ceiling. There's not enough clearance there. So we don't use that for pull-ups. We use the shorter pull-up bar. These are amazing. We have two of them so we can each have one. It is just a magnetic phone holder. So we each put our phone in it when we come out because we use apps to keep track of our workouts. That is a foam roller, amazing for recovery. And then we have every attachment you can think, rope, handles, wide grips, neutral grips, tricep bars, we have them all. We keep a broom and a vacuum cleaner out here. And then these little magnetic clips are kind of all over the place. They hold like these for our glute kickbacks or these little, see there's the other foam thing, or these little wrist things. They're just kind of everywhere. They're super convenient to hang anything on. 